Hey there, this is Akshay Manan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to clear your doubt that why some developers earn less and why some developers are earning so high in the same field, right? In the same field. So if I take an example of Flutter or React, which are the front-end frameworks, right? So I've seen that or many people have asked me that they are earning so less, like they are earning around 3 LPA or 4 LPA in the whole year, that is 3 lakhs per annum and 4 lakhs per annum in the whole year. And the same field, some of the developers with the same tech stack are earning around 15 LPA, 10 LPA, 12 LPA or 16 LPA also, right? So what is the difference? So obviously one or two reasons will be that these two developers are from different country. I'm not considering that, right? That is fine. So if they are from different countries, that is fine. That is reasonable reason, right? Second reason can be this developer who is earning less can be uh, just a fresher or he is having only one year or two years of experience. And this guy can have around nine years of experience or uh, five years of experience, 12 years of experience, right? So that is also I'm not considering over here. I'm considering that you guys are from same age and you guys are from the same country. Still there is a gap, still there is a salary gap, right? Earnings gap is there. And I'm going to clear your doubt regarding this gap. So you are at the same stage, age level, experience level, right? Then what is the reason behind the salary gap? So the simple reason is that the developer who is earning less is only stick to a single tech stack. And the guy who's earning more has learned multiple tech stacks. So you know how things work. So if I'm making an app, I will not only be making it using Flutter, right? There will be multiple tech stacks that will be used in the app development, right? Flutter is just a front-end framework. It is only going to be used for the UI designing, UI coding, right? Uh, maybe a database will be used. So a person who is having experience with multiple databases, SQL or NoSQL, will obviously have an upper hand. The backend will be used. So the guy who has experience with Node Express and uh, TypeScript, JavaScript will have more, uh, more upper hand, right? So I'm not telling you that the guy is only be responsible for the complete app development. It's not like that. Yes, the guy will only be responsible for Flutter or the guy will only be responsible for the front end. But if the guy has overall experience about other tech stacks also, then if some bug happens, this guy is going to get an understanding of where or how the bug happened, right? So this is going to uh, save a lot of debugging time. Right, so this guy will have total understanding of the complete things that are going on around him in the company. But this guy who is just having experience with Flutter will only know about his own stuff. So if some other things happen wrong, then this guy will say, okay, I don't know. Uh, this is not my domain. Uh, let's talk to backend engineer, right? So this is going to increase the debugging time. This is going to increase a headache in the company. So, right, so this is just like a difference between uh, this developer and the experienced developer. Right, so how can you overcome this? How can you become this developer who is having so many tech stack experience? You cannot learn so many tech stacks at a single time, right? So how do ex engineers do it? How do freshers do it? How people do it in their college time, right? So I'll tell you my uh, journey. So what happened was uh, when I started learning Flutter, right? I also was this kind of developer who was just sticking to Flutter. So I soon realized that when I saw some videos that they they are also working in the same field and they are of the same they are of my same age and they are also earning so high they are getting remote jobs of uh, 70k uh, US dollars and 80k US dollars and just sitting in India. So I realized that something I'm missing. So I started researching and then I got to know that I am missing a multiple tech stack experience. So what I did was I was uh, good at Flutter, so I started learning Node Express. I started learning JavaScript. So I was able to now make uh, backend projects also. So I used to connect my backend with my frontend and I created a full stack application, right? So this was a good project for my resume, right? Not just a UI, I just clone WhatsApp, I, or I just clone Netflix, or I just clone Instagram. That's not a good project to put in your resume, right? So this was a good project when I created my own backend, I created my own frontend, I connected them and I put it in my resume. So that was one good project. Now let's go further step. Right now, let's work on scaling the scaling your project. Right, so this will be the best project that you can put in your resume, and obviously, then you will reach to this developer stage where you are getting a higher package than the junior developer. Right now, talking about the scalability, obviously, as a developer, as a software engineer, as a software developer, 
यू शुड नो अबाउट सी आई सी डी यू शुड नो अबाउट क्लाउड टेक्नोलॉजी और हाउ इंटरनेट वर्क हाउ प्रोजेक्ट गो फ्रॉम जीरो टू हीरो हाउ प्रोजेक्ट स्केल फ्रॉम टेन यूजर्स टू वन मिलियन यूजर्स राइट सो बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ सिस्टम डिजाइन वर्क हाउ कैशिंग वर्क हाउ लोड बैलेंसिंग वर्क how uh, multiple servers work how servers communicate with each other what is consistency what is availability so these are simple simple system design concepts so i'm not telling you that you have to become a system design system design expert leave flutter leave react leave front end and just go focus on dsa and system design no it's not like that right but as a software engineer you should know the those concepts also because that make a good software engineer and they are the fundamental blocks of software engineering right so this is going to create a difference because when you will go in the interview and you will tell that and if the interviewer asks okay you have created this project but how are you going to or how are you planning to scale it up and you will be silent and blank because you just no flutter but if you will start talking about system design scalability and uh, cap theorems or what is your plan of scaling it up then the person or the interviewer know that this guy will be valuable for their company right because it's not like that you will be only sticking to the front end domain or back end domain the company will know that this guy has overall experience and this guy will be easily able to switch teams and this guy can reach to upper or uh, the top levels right so and they also don't need to spend a lot of time in training you right so this is all uh, my reason for the difference in the salaries if the developers are the same age same uh, passing year from the college and same uh, country so this is the simple reason i hope this video is helpful for you and uh, let's see you in the next video with the more valuable content for you so till next time keep coding keep learning and thanks a lot